aggressive and assertive and chip in and do our part. Um, we don't come in with any uh, predetermined plans. We just go in there and just play. And uh, Bassey does a great job. He's been doing a great job of just calling right plays and putting us in the right position. So he's been aggressive and assertive himself. And uh, uh, we're playing pretty good right now. The last, last week or so, your, both your scoring and your minutes have gone up a lot. Is yeah. A lot of confidence and your health pretty good, the best it's been this year. Yeah, I feel fine. I feel fine. Um, it's been a, a wonderful journey this year, uh, just working and uh, working with the staff here and, and getting better on court, working out with our coaches. Um, so it's been a great journey, and uh, I'm just going out and just playing and having fun. Uh, just, I think the thing for me right now is just having fun and just enjoying my teammates, enjoying the coaches and this organization. And when you think positive thoughts, uh, good things happen. Do you feel you've turned a corner this past week? I think I'll turn the corner. I'm just taking advantage of the opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, minutes have gone up because Grant's obviously not available right now, and we need him. And so it's all uh, it's up to all of us to step our games up and, and continue to keep uh, the flow of the team going. What was it like in that second quarter? Um, fun, just fun. Uh, you know, I've been accustomed to doing that for the last eight, nine years of my career. So uh, it's always uh, an honor to be in that zone and, and to play like that. And, uh, Shannon came in the second half and just uh, took it to another level, and uh, it was just a great team effort tonight for our team, and uh, it was fun. It was when, you, fun. when you first started playing, you were settling more for the outside shot. Now it's going to the left and driving and taking it more to the hole. Is that just a, is it the confidence level or the health level or a combination of all? You're right. Absolutely. Feeling good, feeling healthy, um, and uh, just continue to work and get my legs stronger and continue to get my body stronger. And doing that is paying off on the court. So, I just want to continue to keep, you know, staying in the weight room, continue to keep maintenance in my body and, and stay fresh for every game. We got 10 games left, so I'm trying to lay it, all, lay it all out. Michael, how satisfying was it for you in that second period to score for 17 points to key a 38 point quarter, which was a team high for the season? Uh, it was fun. It was fun. Uh, I've been in that zone before, and uh, coaches and, and our, my teammates did a great job of looking for me and finding me. And, uh, my job is to knock down shots, and uh, I was fortunate enough to do that tonight. So it was fun. Out, out of everything the training staff has done, what do you think has been the most beneficial and unique here than elsewhere? I, I think what's great here is the personal attention, you know, uh, the time they spend with you, uh, which has been great. Um, and, uh, you know, you have to put the work in for it to work, but at the same time, uh, they want to work with you. So it, it's been a great marriage since I've been here. And the cryo chamber, right? <laughs> the dreaded cryo chamber. It's so cold, but uh, it's great for your body, though. So, uh, you know, that's the wonderful thing about this organization. They do whatever it takes to keep you healthy and keep you strong. Michael, how big was the win considering that one might have slipped away last night? <laughs> oh, man. If we had last night, it would have been even more great. But tonight was great to get a win, to bounce back mentally more than anything, to fight back. Um, you know, we played well this week. So we got another tough week ahead of us, and uh, hopefully we can do the same thing. And you kind of touched on that. It's a four game road trip. Every team is going to be a tough one. Your thoughts on where this road trip is in the grand scheme of the season and trying to make the playoffs? Yeah, it's it's going to be a, it's going to be a challenge. Uh, we got to continue to keep playing what we're playing, playing together. Uh, we've kind of hit our stride after All Star break, playing well at the, at the break, and uh, you know it's just uh, it's good to see. Good to see we got some good players on this team. Michael, you kind of touched on it. You took over the second period, and then Shannon came in third and was lighting it up. Your thoughts of what he was doing in the third? No, he told me he was inspired. He, he's funny. Uh, <laughs> He came you inspired out, him? That's what he said. But you know, the, the guy can play. Uh, watch him develop over the year. Uh, I've known Shannon for a while. And to see him play the way he's playing right now, uh, it just makes me happy. So I, I support him. I root for him. Uh, he, he did a great job. We just tagged him a little bit tonight. It was fun. I know you're accustomed to this role, but what does it mean to you to be the go to guy right now for the second unit? Uh, you know, it could be anybody. It could be Markeith. It could be Sebastian. But they kind of run plays for you, you know? Yeah, it's fine. I mean, I'm, I'm rolling right now. Uh, Again, I'm accustomed to being in that position, so uh, just try to take the responsibility of being aggressive and, and uh, be assertive. Have you seen the bench kind of grow now, especially the last week or so? I have. I have. The uh, bench has done a great job of just uh, coming in and just playing hard. Mm -hmm. That's all we're doing. Rob is playing great. Yeah. Keith is stepping his game up. And if you call on Keith a Utah Ward, game. Josh Childress has been terrific the last couple of games. So uh, we got talented guys. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Obviously, the uh, bench came up big for you guys in the second quarter and, and carried it over. You guys seemed like the energy level picked up at that point. Bench was great. Um, yeah. so, a bunch of guys stepped up to um, Sebastian's been playing really well. Uh, I thought that Robin and 
Um, and Josh contributed, and obviously uh, Mike Wright did really good, and that's great for us, and Shannon had a terrific game as well. Can you just talk about what Michael Red's done in the last week or 10 days in the game, just the, the confidence level and how he his helps yeah, coming back? Yeah, I mean, he's turning a corner. I think, you know, we're seeing more consistent basketball of Mike because his body's getting better and better. So I just feel excited for him that he feels better every night and he can do the things he's accustomed to doing. And I mean, what a player you see, uh, the runs he can go on. Turnovers have been a problem with this team recently. Tonight, you set a franchise record for lower three. Can you just talk about that? Yeah, it was good. I mean, uh, you know, we took care of the ball tonight. And, Give ourselves a lot of opportunities to shoot the ball and, uh, you know, at the basket. And, you know, we're a good shooting team, so usually we get a lot of shots we're making up. They're a different team without Kobe, obviously, but just talk about how important this, this win was after last night. Yeah, last night was, was uh, heartbreaking. So to come back and find a way to win tonight, even without Kobe, you know, they still got two big guys that make it really difficult for us. And so we found a way to win and uh, you know, come back, fourth game at five minutes. So this wasn't a shoe in, that's for sure. Bueno, uh, esta temporada estaba, estaba muy difícil, uh, pero uh, recién nuestro equipo es un mejor y uh, con mucha confianza juntos y siente sentemos uh, mucho mejor que antes entonces quizás puede uh, cualificar uh, para los playoffs pero no sé sí can you give us the English translation uh, yeah, I just said we uh, struggled to start the year we're feeling a lot better now how about how, this road trip coming up Steve how big is it uh, in the scheme of trying to make the playoffs well, I mean, uh, this, this is, you know, every game, you know, or every week, you know, however you want to look at it, is make or break, you know, you can't you know, afford to lose two or three in a row, so we got to try to win two or three in a row uh, and uh, put ourselves in a position to, uh, to upset somebody and, and get way ahead of the game, so, you know, we got our work cut out for us, but uh, we've done phenomenal, you know, the coaches have been unbelievable this year, and, um, you know, you got to give the coaches a ton of credit. And, uh, you know, we find ourselves incredibly in a position to, to get in the place. Do you like the effort and mindset of your teammates going in? Yeah, it was great. great performance, great energy. Fourth game in five nights. Uh, the energy was great. Is it safe to say to, that you think Alvin deserves an extension? I mean, I mean, Alvin's an amazing coach. You know, I mean, what he's done with this group. Uh, you know, we've, I've been picked to be in the playoffs the last three years. 